The body of Christ has come under immense attack over the last decade. Ministers of the gospel who are supposed to be showing examples of Apostle Paul's letter to the church in Corinth are rather exhibiting pettiness, bickering, jealousy, envy, low esteem amongst many. Men of God use individuals as pawns for their vendettas or seek their own interests as opposed to the Great Commission outlined by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to the Apostles. Men of God today have sought to bring each other down from their calling. They seek to exploit, expose, and outwit each other, which has brought a high level of mistrust to the church today. One of these grand schemes against the body of Christ was uncovered when a prophet from Charis Ministries narrated a detailed confession of a plot against Prophet Shepherd Bushiri by the founder of Charis Ministries, Apostle J.B. Makananisa. It was something which it has been planned. So I knew what to say in a right time. What, what was planned or what is planned? Tell me everything. What is planned right now? There is a lot which it has been planned against Major One. The attack that is coming, if they can strike the shepherd, the sheep will be lost, obvious. You may think it's his attack, what is your attack? What has been planned is they want to remove him out of the country. I'm ready to die for the truth. She said, that lady, they're pushing her, they say, well, the works. They say, we'll give you money, everything, you'll be a rich lady after this. She's from Zimbabwe, the lady. So, the plan here, even if they want to make sure they vowed, they say, Good Friday must not reach before you are arrested. For example, today I was supposed to meet with some of them. Because the concern they, they, they had now, they started to say, we, we are going to arrest him. I said, for what? Who said he's going to arrest him? The hawks. Uh -huh. I said, for what? They said, for rape. They said, oh, anyway, the evidence on rape is not going to stand. But we have evidence on statutory rape. Uh, I said, statutory rape, which girl did he sleep with? He said, uh, which young girl did we sleep with? He said, no, we'll make sure, even if the evidence doesn't stand, we will refuse him bail. He's non-South African and he's a flight risk. So it will, it will help all the, all, all the chances not to give him pay. That was last night. Uh, <laughs> we'll have all the evidence not to give him rape, I mean, uh, pay. It doesn't matter if he will win the case or not, but we would have won in what, what, we, in what we wanted to do. Clearly, the plot against Prophet Shepherd Bushiri thickens as his counterpart seeks his total disappearance from the country being a Malawian national. So, before that can happen, as a prophet, who people they believe most in, so I was the one to go and prophesy it, so that when it happened, there will be no... people there will be... Are they connected to the man of God or what? They are. They are connected to the man of God, they are connected to the politicians, they are connected to the, to, 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 the, to the officials, which is in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the NPA and also in the Hawks. Prophet Temba says he had no option but to follow and adhere strictly to the directives of his bankroller, Apostle Makananisa, to defame Prophet Shepherd Bushiri and his growing ministry. Whenever, as a prophet, I will see a member of ECG when I'm moving the prophetic, I was told to make sure as a son, and I have to follow instruction. I was told because I'm the most influenced prophet there. He said to me, whenever you see a member of ECG, make sure you prophesy to prove that there are prophets there. So all those things you were told that when you're prophesying, you must, in your prophecy, you must add he said, uh, whenever you see someone who goes to Pretoria, make sure you go in details. First thing he told me, when people they see details, they will be convicted 
that even there we are people who see details. So one day he said to me, whenever you see them, attack but be wise. He also explained the undiluted hatred Makananisa has against Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. The problem, yes, there is this graduates of big churches and small churches. When you came, it's like you took over South Africa. While it was supposed to be him taking over South Africa. The fight started there when most of his members in charity started to come here. I know every story where it started and where it will end. When you came to South Africa, everyone followed you. Even some of the prophets who were before me, they came to you. Most of them, they got punishment. Whoever will follow you as a prophet will be punished. Whether you will be stopped to, pro to prophesy, or there will be something that they will come with it so that it will make you to pull you down. The plan is when you came to South Africa, you took over as a prophet. Why does this in him that you are, he's supposed to take over? So the wife got bitter. Prophet Temba says he had appeared on the pulpit to apologize to Prophet Shepherd Bushiri in order to be saved on the last day. I'm here to ask forgiveness, the reason I came here. I'm not here to expose any man of God, but I'm here for my soul as a prophet. Me, I spoke directly. The ways against Major One as a prophet is not good for me. I'm here, Major One, humbling myself. The church must rise above such pettiness and understand the purpose and principles of its establishment as was in the biblical era. The gap of mistrust that has been created has to be corrected to restore the sanctity of the church. It's not good, man of God, it's not good. Don't fight. This is not our work. These are not our members. They are members of God. If I was preaching for money, I could have stopped preaching a long time ago because I have the money. I preach because God called me to preach.